Having stood out from others for most of our life due to her exceptional character, Mizuzo Kiara had lived with neither the joy of having close friends nor having the experience of having a regular life. However, after a sudden death, she was instantly transported to a divine realm to be reincarnated and grant one wish to top it off. Thinking about her ordinary life that she has always wanted, she wished to be born as a normal person with abilities that average for the world that she will be reincarnated into. Reborn as Ella von Akin, the daughter of a noble, she possesses magic powers completely exceeding what one would label as average. Still desiring to carry out the life that she wants, she leaves home and enrolls at a hunter school in a faraway kingdom using Miles as an alias. However, trying as she might hide her overpowering potential, attaining her goal will be difficult, especially when facing against the crazy situation that ensues. This anime has about 12 episodes from October 7, 2019 to December 23, 2019. Based off a popular light novel, it is comedy and fantasy. Themes are Isekai and Reincarnation. Each episode is 20 minutes per episode and is rated PG-13. Now let's get started into the review. What I really like about this anime, even though the protagonist kind of wished out a normal life because she really didn't able to achieve that in her previous life, and then when she gets incarnated, she was to have average ability, which in turn, I think the Isekai, when she got reincarnated into, took her average wish and kind of twisted it just a little bit, because for their term in their divine realm, average ability means OP in their realm. So, and including like the long title um, in the intro before, I think having Milia, including her partners and Kath that you meet later on, you're kind of gathering these four girls who want to be hunters and adventures with their own different backstories that are very tragic or, you know, overcoming difficult obstacles in their life. Fortunately for this anime, with that being said, it does contain a lot of source materials from the light novel to make it one one coherent, like, 12 episode series. And needless to say, like, you know, besides cutting a lot of, of Milia's Miles character, and basically giving us the eye last time to get to know her that had that were like basically speed given for her backstory and how she came to be where she was today especially with her you know coming to a group of hunters and you know them coming to their own group of you know being the crimson rose we'll find out later on in the story but miles basically her whole character is to be able to give average ability and that was not the case. She sort of didn't look out with the average ability. She's supposed to be given the most strongest ability of her new life and she's trying to maintain some type of normalcy but it doesn't seem to go to plan for her as she starts her second dress in this new life in this reincarnated world. Especially when she meets her friends that she does meet, especially when she meets the girls unexpectedly like in a quest that she kind of got dragged into and when she does meet her fellow companions such as you know the lovely paulina rena and mavis you know everything's kind of thrown in for a whirlwind and i feel like with these girls you know forming this band and wanting to be hunters each of them have their own goal they want to achieve for miles in particular her self-awareness of her personality that's very just by her own narrative you know by and then you have rena who's the crimson maid with a dark past but wants to become a hunter and then you have you know paulina and Mavis, who also have like their own distinctive past and characters that they want to get over. Um, when you look at all the, the girls in different backstory, for Raina herself, um, the, when they do discuss her backstory, it does take a different emotional direction and toll of the items. You can tend to care for a more of the person, which I thought was very helpful to feel more sympathetic toward Raina, and especially when it's told from her personal perspective. And then you meet Mavis, who's a different type of backstory, kind of twisted, and then you have uh, Paulina who, you know, she was scary. She had a very dark side to her, but at least, you know, she she puts it out there and that's what you expect out of her and like try not to get on her bad side when it, that is revealed to her. But overall, these girls, I think they balance each other really well, especially with the different personalities and characters that they can bring to the group and then continue on to be their life as hunters. I can't wait to see if they do bring a second story to this because I feel like their journey was cut short. And I wish, you know, they kind of expand more on Miles' backstory than the short rendition we were getting just to pick up the pace since it was condensed into like 12 episodes. But I do hope, you know, the girls do all achieve their dreams of becoming hunters and those who kind of like doubted them will um, see that they achieved a lot much in their short time of becoming hunters in time they formed the Crimson Vow. But I wish all these girls the best of luck. I really did enjoy this anime. I do give this like a six. I just wish they just didn't try to condense everything into 12 episodes, but definitely check out didn't I say to make my abilities average in the next life? And let me know what you think. Until then, bye.